A juvenile is facing charges in connection to the shooting death of 14 year old Lee Fain. A month after his tragic death tonight, hearts are heavy in Giles County as a candlelight vigil was held in his honor. 10 News reporter Kelly Marsh talked with friends about the legacy he leaves behind. Happy birthday to you. Singing happy birthday under the soft glow of makeshift candlelight. Saturday, a community gathers in mourning to remember 14-year-old Lee Fain, whose future was tragically cut short. We wanted to play paintball on his birthday, but we never got to, of course. So seeing those balloons fly away and hearing everyone cheer for him really made, <laughs> made the difference a lot. Lee would have turned 15 on Thursday. Instead, his loved ones gather at a Parisburg basketball court where Lee used to play. Understandably, his mom and sister did not want to talk on camera, but Lee's best friend Christian Travis describes him as caring and always a great friend. So it almost feels like I'm back at square one. I almost like I don't know what to do anymore. He, I'd get on the game with him. If I was going through anything, I'd always just call him. He was my, he was my go-to. Christian reminisced on the time spent running around their small town of Parisburg. Now he battles the overwhelming sense of emptiness after losing his best friend. I've been there with him, whether it be the library, every store in town, walking down the streets, hanging out with friends. I used to do everything with him, so it's not the same as it was with him. In Parisburg, Kelly Marsh, 10 News, working for you.